Hi friends, welcome back to the second video of this tutorial series where we are going to create a mobile app using Angular, Ionic and WooCommerce API. Okay. So in this uh, video, we will look at the prerequisites of our project. So the very first thing that we will need is the Node.js package. So you can download the latest Node.js package from this URL here and uh, make sure you install the LTS uh, version okay that's the long-term support version currently it's 12.18.2 the second thing uh, I mean this will also install the M NPM package manager okay we will need that as well second thing is the angular CLI you can download it using uh, this command I install it globally with the help of npm and that's why i told you to install node.js first only then you can install the angular cli you need not to run these commands just run the first one this will in, uh, install the angular cli globally in your local machine okay third thing that we will be using to test the rest api is the postman client okay Make sure you download and install this as well it's a, it's a free tool and really helpful uh, next thing which is again very important in order to run uh, wordpress on our local machine is the apache server or apache suite so you can either use zamp the one i always use this one or there is another one known as mam m a m p it's a similar thing uh, but again it is your personal choice which one you prefer so i always use ram okay uh, so this comes with your apache mariadb php perl and mysql also uh, if you don't want to use mysql which, which is bundled inside this uh, suite you can also download the free version of mysql community server edition which is the one i'm using right now in my machine okay you can download and install it it's absolutely free of cost the next thing that we will need is an ide to type our code and get some really helpful intelligence so this is the most commonly used ide today that's visual studio code it's absolutely free of cost and cross-platform so whether you are working on windows or mac or linux you can download and install it with no charges absolutely and it comes with a lot of uh, extensions and inbuilt plugins like git and all those things okay so this is the uh, best free option available that i would say the next thing that i am going to use here is this the, uh, the ide that I, of my choice for this tutorial will be php storm uh, i like this ide very much uh, so there is another another IDE from JetBrains known as WebStorm. So the only difference between WebStorm and PHP Storm is that this comes uh, with the support of PHP as well. Okay, but both are very very helpful. But these are paid. Okay, so you need to buy a license in order to use it. Otherwise, you can use it free for 30 days as as a trial version. Okay, so once you have installed all these things the next thing that you will need is the ionic cli so ionic is the framework which has been developed uh, for the mobile apps so you need not to write native mobile codes using android studio okay you can install ionic here and use your uh, language of your choice such as react or native javascript or maybe angular for that matter and it will compile the code and uh, ship it to i mean it will compile the code to the native android language okay so this is the command line uh, th uh this is the command to install the the ionic cli globally and once you're done you can create a new app with the help of this command so there are different templates okay starter templates like plank tabs side menu etc you can create uh, using the help of the help of CLI and the <coughs> template that we will be creating is this one okay and 
for the native functionalities uh, we'll be using capacitor so that we can build our app in android studio and run it on a emulator okay so the next thing the last thing is the, that you will need is the android studio so search for it put the first link that is shown here on google <coughs> sorry so download the latest version make sure you, you always use the latest version of android studio that the current version is 4.0.1 when this video is being recorded it's of 871 megabytes okay so install it and be ready for the next uh, videos that in which we will learn uh, how to create an app with angular and ionic so and ship it to the android studio and run it on a, on a on an emulator and see the action in real time okay so i hope we will uh, learn a lot in this entire series and if you have any suggestions any com comments please do not hesitate to write down in the comment section below and i will also share the github link as soon as we start creating our project and uh, start coding okay so till then uh, i hope you will uh, you will install you will be able to install all these on your own and there should not be any hiccups during the installation because it's pretty it is pretty straightforward and you must have installed a lot of tools in the past as well so with this i'm going to end this video and i'll see you in the next video wherein we will create our first brand new project ionic project with the help of this command here okay and we'll see what we get out of the box using ionic so till then please do not forget to subscribe like and share my channel with your friends and colleagues and i'll see you in the next video bye bye and have a wonderful day